Today's reading paper review is for the O-level pure chemistry students. And no, it's not a paper from a very reputable school. In fact, I'm pretty sure you never heard of this school before. But what is it that I like about this paper? Find out in today's episode of P P R. Alright, welcome back to another video. This is Yola from Vantage Tutor, a class above the rest. And today, we are going to do a brilliant paper review for the pure chemistry students. And this paper is from Christchurch Secondary School, 2022 Pure Chemistry. Now, firstly, have I done this paper with any of my students? No. And therefore, whatever I give you here is based off my first impression. And to be honest, my first impression of this paper is pretty positive. And these following questions are the questions that I figured are more interesting than the rest. I suggest you go and have a closer look at all these questions. What I like so much about this paper is how they test their students of certain concepts by asking a question in a different way. For example, if you look at your question 2, your chem bonding question, instead of asking you for the typical boiling point or melting point by giving you a normal structure, something you would expect, instead they give you a structure that you do not expect and ask you what's unusual about it. And I feel that's really testing a student on their knowledge in terms of things outside of their norm and how to make sense of it, how to put the pieces back together and come up with a coherent answer and not just memorize and regurgitate everything onto a piece of paper. Question 2 is just one of the few examples that I find very interesting in this paper and this is the reason why I'm talking about this paper to all of you even though this may not be a very reputable school. And now it's time to rank the paper in terms of my three matrices. Number one, relevance. Just how closely structured this paper is to your O level. Number two, insightfulness. Just how much can I learn from doing this paper? Number three, difficulty. Is this a fair paper? Before I give an overall score and recommend to you the type of students who should try this paper. Now firstly, relevance. Nothing too out of the sort. You would see that a lot of these questions are more or less what you expect to see in your O-level paper. There's one of everything. You see your organic chemistry, you see your monomer, you see your formation of esters, you see your typical chem bonding. Everything that you would expect, you see it here and the marks allocation are more or less rather fair. But ultimately, is this paper an exact model after the O-levels? I am very tempted to say that it is very very close, but something in there just made me feel that it's not the best model after your O-levels. Because I always believe that O-levels nowadays has an element of unpredictability. But of course, like I said, it feels like a familiar paper. And therefore, the relevance would rank slightly above average. I'll give it a 7.5 out of them. Next, insightfulness. I looked through this paper, I genuinely quite like the questions. I easily picked out 6 to 5 questions that I feel are important for my students to try. As I already mentioned, all the questions listed to you are interesting questions. It's not because that I need to stop and think about it, it's not because that it's a difficult question, but I just like the way they ask the question, I like the way they phrase the question, I like the way they structured the whole question from part A all the way to the last part. I feel that a student is going to learn a lot in terms of how you answer such questions, how to interpret the information from a database question, and how these questions that are not really the most intuitive are still within your syllabus. They do not stretch to your A-level syllabus like many of the other brilliant papers does. And therefore, the insightfulness of this paper, I would genuinely give it a rather high score. Easily 8 out of 10. Finally, difficulty. Difficulty of this paper, not hard, but you're going to find that you have to answer and interpret questions differently. And maybe because it's unfamiliar to you, it's out of the norm for you, you are not so comfortable doing it, you can't get into a state of flow, and maybe you will feel a bit challenged. But trust me, if you actually look at the questions a bit more carefully, you calm down and tell yourself that this is still within your syllabus, the difficulty of this paper is not too Hi, you are going to learn from it and it's not because the questions are crazy hard. It's because you learn to answer questions in a different way, you learn to understand concepts in a different way, you learn to interpret data in a different way. But precisely because of this unfamiliarity, you're going to find it slightly more challenging than other papers. You cannot just go question after question after question based on textbook answers, based on your notes answer, based on previous practices. And hence, 
the difficulty of this paper is not too difficult neither is it too easy but I will give it slightly above average I'll give it a 7 out of 10 overall you can tell by now I genuinely like this paper I think the questions asked are interesting at the same time not too difficult and it's not a lazy paper altogether what do I mean by lazy a teacher could have easily taken the database question from an A-level concept and just repackage it give you a bit more information and tell you that oh this is your database when it's actually not a database because what a database actually is about is using information given to you in a passage teaching you how to extract from it and then actually answer the question based on what you see but if I were to repackage it from A level it's just a lazy way in a sense that it may not be fair to all the O level students to be honest a lot of this A level concept are actually taught during your Olympic chemistry and because of all the factors I've spoken about previously but because of the insightfulness while staying within the boundaries of the syllabus and not being lazy in terms of setting a question I'll give this paper a slightly higher overall score of 8 out of 10 who do I recommend this paper to? Obviously, I'll recommend this paper to all the different students who are going to take your pure chemistry. However, this may not be the paper for all the students at this point in time. Meaning, if you feel that you're not ready for your prelims, this paper may not be for you. Because, like I said, it's going to ask you questions in a different way. You're going to be tested on a concept in a different way. However, if you feel that you're already above average, you want to see how this paper can challenge you in a different way while staying within the limits and the boundary of your O-level syllabus, this paper is definitely for you. We have now come to the end of this prelim paper review of Christchurch Secondary School Pure Chemistry 2022. If you like what I'm doing, follow me on TikTok, like my video, comment, share this video with your friends. I'm sure you'll help them because I'm on my way to 10,000 followers. Nothing else. This is your love from Vantage Tutor, a class above the rest. Take care.